let's add add something up. You know what I mean? Your arm maybe comes up later, and then you just kind of. And then when he goes there, the person just block block the kimura, and then you feel like oh. It's so easy to finish the takedown, but then sometimes you finish the takedown and then you just make a roll and then you land on the floor. It's, it's common and it's a very good habit. Your back touch the mat, you just back out of the mat. But to this point, you need to notice that your arm is being holding, so it's not the best option to just kind of like back out of the mat. So instead of back out of the mat, I pick my hip up so I can put weight on him and I slide my weight on, on top of him. And I'm, I'm avoiding his leg. I'm, I'm not going towards his leg. And it's slow. Slow starts to kind of like a pin him down. And his hip, can, can you like a scoop your hip first? Towards you? No, away from me. No, no, no. Can you just try to slide oh, yeah. it? Come back, come back, come back. So maybe you get here and then he's going to start like coming out from you. Coming out. Because he wants to take some weight off of him so his hip can come up. So if you get on top, he start going that way. You start, you start to climb. You start to kind of follow him. Keep like a pressure, weight on him, and walk anywhere he goes because that's what he needs. The arm, guys, is the last thing. You know what I mean? I don't think he can finish from there, but he can catch your back and then do something else. So after you manage to get on top, your back is safe. His hip is not reaching over your head. Now you go there and start stick your knee inside. Try pulling maybe the other hand inside, depends on how, how tall the other is, how long your legs, you know what I mean? So you, you manage that later, but this is the thing that messes everything up, you know what I mean? So I have this, he has the Kimura, I feel like I can't finish the takedown now, I'll finish the takedown, I'll, I wouldn't give up and try to get out because if you just try to get out, like it's just continue something that you don't want to end up there too. So I'll be fine to finish the takedown, but as soon as I do this, I start get on top, and I'll get my feet closed and stuff. Guys, this arm feels very convenient. Feels very convenient to hold this leg, hold the other leg, but don't leave this arm around too much. This arm can be very dangerous. So, this arm over here, guys, I think it's better just stay tucking. Stay tucking, push whatever is, is, is body, and just start getting on top. Start climbing to just get your arm. Slow down. Let's add one more thing now. But I always like to do the same idea that I just did before. Let's go try this. Um, just, just remember what, where we got. You know what I mean? We got here, he go there, he roll, we finish, I end up over here. Guys, the hook, obviously the hook can come this way. You can turn one hook over. The hook can come this way. But this one, usually, you have your arm here, you know, go. You just kind of, you just tuck in. But then people forget the other one that is underneath. Come back, come back. And the underneath, you don't have no arm to tuck in. Your arm is like, it's extending like a walk over there. And then you protect this one, and the other one comes up. So this one is not that hard to defend, the top one. But the bottom, yes. You know. So that's why I would say, like, this leg goes, goes far from him. Because once you turn, cannot be close to this, right? Let's try this. So if once you turn, you, you're almost like on the other side, almost, you know. And you're walking on, on his hip come up, you know. But in the mirror of like a big scram, in the mirror of like a, maybe the guy gives up. Before you do something, he changed the timing of what you used to go this way, and then you just reverse, and then you quick, and you get a little bit lost. It's normal. It's normal to maybe like the person put the first hook, you know what I mean? If, if you end up to get the first, first hook, if you end up having the first hook, guys, I recommend just stand up. Stand up because the second hook is coming. So the, the quickest you can come up from this, can you climb this? The quicker you come up from this, the more it'll be shaking you, you're gonna get him off of that. The quickest you come up. He's on your back, so you just keep him hanging so he can just fall out of there. But this is just like a one scenario. That's like how far things can go. Sometimes you make it slow, it's a small mistake, but you still know how to prevent to get worse. And that's, that's the idea that we're doing over here. But guys, we don't know like a, uh, if the other person has the best reaction. But we, we can keep going over and over this just so we, we know at least what to do. Even if the other person doesn't, doesn't give the, the most danger attack. You know? But just keep aware about like how far we can go on this, all right? Let's get some water and then get back to the road, guys. Okay. Okay.